Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to retouch image just with the filters and plugins. So we want to use it as usual dodge and burn, create layers using healing brush that they usually do. So what we're going to do is just have this basic image and you can see some um, effects, some blemishes here we need to remove it. So what we going to use for this as filters like a retouch for me, we'll use a filter forge and we'll use it a new one that I found a very cool new plugins running. It's a glowing. So we have all these glowing effects and we'll create from in this image. We're going with this just with a simple um, using plugins and filters. So uh, you can see how it easy will do. And the best things you can automate a lot of stuff. So if you have to process a lot of photos, you want to stylize them. You can actually do several steps and automate it that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on our first image and go forward with all the steps. Okay, right here we have our unprocessed photo and we're just going to use it filters and uh, simple plugins just to retouch, see what we can do about this. And mostly we will use it one special plugin that I just discovered recently and it is very incredible. I'm sure I will use a lot of all my work and I'll show you in a second what it is. So first we have our image and we'll go just duplicate. Instead creating our retouch tools and going retouching all these blemishes, we're going to actually use it plugin. Okay, go to filter, actual filter, we'll go to retouch for me and we going retouch for me heal. So what it actually does is we'll go through all photo, analyze by AI and fix it some of those blemishes we don't need it on our skin. So it's in some case it's a clean up skin for us. And you can see it done. It's removed from the forehead. I already can see 100% all good. So we'll go ahead and click apply. And if we look closer, what filter did for us, you can see on the forehead right here example. See how it's removed. It. Okay. And if we preview, there is a what retouching. So I don't know if I want to cup and keep it. I think actually, yeah, we'll just keep it all of them. We don't want to touch up or masking or anything. We'll just go straight forward to do this. So this is retouching. It's done by the filter for us. Next, what I want to do, it's create this colorful glowing in the areas. So for this, we're actually going to use this new on rig. It's an unbelievable tool I found about creating this glowing and other effects. And because I played a little bit with this and it's become one of my favorites. So we'll go click on generate for this. And what's happening when generate, you'll notice it's all switched. So we'll have a full screen um, when initialization happened. First time, if you don't know, you may be like, oh, what's going on? Where's all of my stuff gone? But you can see right here. We have it all our image and the full screen. You can still access all tools, everything, um, adjustments, everything, your brushes, everything is exactly the same. But right now what we're going to do, I want to add some glowing and add colors. But here we have it, we have it purple, yellow, green, little bit reddish, blue, all those different colors. So we actually need to do several ways. One, what I want to do, it is go and click mask. Before mask, we'll can, let's click X-ray. X-ray, it's where the program analyze and see where the highlights happening. So if we create all this glow, it will glow around there. We can modify by increasing the threshold on those areas or decreasing. But I, again, I want colorize. I don't want necessarily everywhere, like right here, green, and a yellow and purple, they all start mixing. So we don't want to do that way. For this, I will going to use my mask. And you can notice mask is selected as a brush and I'm just going simple, drag, and I'm going brush in the area where I want to affect it. So maybe just a little bit right here. We'll leave it, leave it right there, yellow. I see a point right there, yellow. And I think this is about all Okay, when we're done, let's go click on the checkbox. And it's thinking, processing, you can see how it's increased. Let's enable colorize for us. 
and by default it will be orange we don't need it i want to go a little bit yellow so we'll adjust switch more towards yellow color and pop up saturation you can see how it's beautiful already going and we can also before and after you can see how it's applied right on a globe and other ones before and after nice light spill on the hair it's great stronger again if we want it we can increase radius this will be calculating and make a bigger radius for the glowing effect but i think we just like maybe around here that should be good okay when we're done we'll go ahead click save and it's prompt us what we want name so let's go call yellow and it will add to the layer so it's take a little time till it's process and when it's done processing it's go back to creating layer one thing notice it's creating smart object so we can actually go cl double click and go inside and see what have it's created so there's a mask that is an x-ray so it's having all of those properties which kind of very cool i don't want to save it but it is non-destructive we overlay okay let's go ahead i want to create new don't even highlight this one so we'll go create generate new and on this one i want actually maybe like green let's add a little bit brighter green blue yeah we can add also blue green and purple so we need it to do about four more times again this is kind of going convert to expand on full screen same things we already know what we want to do we want to create a mask and we'll go to create let's go down blue blue right here and let's go use the bracket to reduce our brush we'll blue right here have a little bit of blue glowing right there I don't want to touch dress and I'll show you reason why because we'll add some special to this effect okay and a little bit blue right there okay let's go click x-ray there you go we are done oops I forgot to check in box so it will apply to our area so right now if we click x-ray you can see where it's affecting it's not very bright so I, and in this area where her neck wasn't but this light and strike on a globe that is what will be affecting so next we'll want to increase colorization so let's go click colorize and as it's blue we'll go and switch to the blue color okay let's take it this way and let's pop up a little bit radius on the glowing so its glow will expand a little bit better and affect right those areas okay when we're done let's go click save we'll call it blue and click save again Okay, now we're back and look how good is blue coming up. I mean, it's at all is glowing. Again, we just need accelerate like green ones. Let's go again, generate. Okay, we ready for this. Let's go click mask, enable mask and we'll go green. So we'll just mask right here, those areas. And maybe a little bit around here and there you go. A little bit green. Okay, checkbox. So we create our mask let's click on colorization and we'll switch to the green color oh, beautiful green and let's go just pop up saturation a little bit more you know maybe it's a little bit cold greener let's go move slightly right there to the a little bit more warmer green there you go kind of nice let's look I think intensity about okay we can if you want you can go very crazy set like 73 very big radio so it's I think it's cover quite but you can see but I think for this lamp we'll need a little bit less and um, we don't don't worry about those ones we'll touch a little bit later but I think that is good and let's go click save and let's go our green color Okay, so right here, done. It's going back to our normal view. One nice thing is it's jumping between preview and this. Um, personally, it's maybe a reason why it does. I don't see reason why it does this way. Um, probably give you more workspace. So, but we'll just take whatever it does for us. So right here, you can see how it's 
green add nice glowing light so let's go one actually we need to two times so right now it will be our purple color we're going to do and next i want just to do this area so we'll add sparks to them okay right here again i want to use the mask and i want to mask again we'll use the bracket key you can see how my brushes increase so we'll just go right there okay we'll just use it these areas leave it right here let's add glowing around here leave it on back i think this is about all we can add but i don't want a real touch there so i'll just add one small strike okay checkbox be sure it's accepted and by the way this is a very intuitive tool it's took for me few minutes to actually see how it's work so we have colorizer let's go put it in a purple color right there we'll set to the purple and let's go saturation can we'll make kind of like disco with a saturated stuff and we'll pull pop radius over the glowing and watch this if we increase exposure you can see how brighter that will come up see so in some case, if we want to brighten up this area, we can leave it. I think maybe it's work actually good. So let's go ahead, click save. We'll call it purple and click save again. Okay, here we're done and one last. And this is what we'll do for the dress. So we'll go ahead, click generate again. Okay, and this point, I want to click mask. And what I want to do, it's apply only on a dress. So right here, we'll just go select dress, kind of. And notice it's a very rough masking, which is kind of very good. It's what it can do. You can just uh, so we mask. I think that should work. And you know what? Let's go just mask a little bit here, here, just where the sparks can be. Okay, we're done. Let's go check box. And this is add glow, but I want kind of sparks. Notice we used before diffuse and it's heavy diffusion. If you click on down, you have it strikes. And so what are we going to do? We'll switch to the strikes and you can see the horizontal. This is because we have a two. So let's go switch to the four, which is go up and down kind of. Okay, we have it add all the sparks. Next, we want to reduce a little bit our radius and other ones first let's go rotation and i want to rotate a little bit like x so they're almost showing so we'll do rotation okay and let's reduce our radius on the glowing so they won't glow as much but let's also make them a little bit smaller like this okay and let's go look what we can do next let's reduce our exposure so we don't have this very bright spark spots so it's kind of beautiful right here a little bit still overblowing so let's go see with threshold reducing threshold will help us but problem with reducing threshold we start having some smaller and i want to increase straight details this will create a quite bit sharp lines but it will be very kind of disc you can see sharp lines so there you go this is what we needed okay um you know what the mask i don't know if i like this too much so let's go click on this mask tool okay and we'll have it select the razor and you know what i don't know if i like right here too much so we'll just do this let's erase that will be a little bit yeah because this is, I think it was a little bit too much here, but you can add if you need it. But I do like an address. And now till down address, we actually can increase threshold and make them a little bit brighter. So and increase radius. So they're kind of from the bottom will be. There you go. Okay, when we're ready, let's go click save. And we'll call dress. Okay, it's done generating and you can see we have nice strikes. 
So let's do these things. Let's go just as a preview. We'll take actually, you know, before we do this, let's finish what we started. Let's add more filters. So we have a very nice glowing, very nice effect going on. And we can see this is kind of what original was before. And we add more glowing to this and as well retouching. So that is look good. But I want to add some tonal correction. And without using curve in Photoshop, we'll just combine our layers, create new, and we'll go to another filter, a filter forge. So we'll go open filter forge 10. And we're going to use it phototone. It's kind of plugins. Um, what's happening to the application you purchase by itself, okay, or, or you have a 30 days trial. But all of this filters like 6000, I don't know, tons of filters, they're all free. And I created a bunch of filters, you can use it there. Um, for example, this is a photo tone, I create one, I kind of like because it's allowed me very fast changing with the presets change how I want color look. So it's kind of helpful. In this case, I'll just click select one, click apply. Of course, we can go and modify adjust all the settings. But I want just straightforward go with that one. Okay, it's take a second till the filter applied. And next what I want to do is apply one more filter to this. So we'll have it, you can see it's kind of saturated, you know, create all the stuff. So we'll go create new, control shift out. And we'll go to filter and we'll go again to filter forge now. And in filter forge, we're going to use for the aging. So we'll go, let's go click on that one. And we'll just use it, maybe select one without frame that give it kind of look. Okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah, I think this one is kind of look nice, except, you know, I think we want to leave it smoother color on this. Again, this is very easy, just sliders just go back and forth, slide as you want it. Like, for example, we need to use vignetting was too bright. You know, and if you want, you can make like even white vignetting. But you know what, let's go reduce there. We'll go ahead, click apply. But this is, I think, will be a very strong effect. So we'll just use our opacity to take it down. Okay, so right here is done. And you can see, of course, it's muted color. It's everything. I don't think we want this because we increase saturation, but we can bring just slightly opacity till it's come up soft, beautiful look like right here, maybe about 70 around there. Good strikes make all this retro look. Okay, now we can take all of these group it. Really touching. And what we have it, this is as before and after. Very nice add. I think the Overall, what we create this image that is look very nice, retouched, look um, stylish and uh, colorful, have all this beautiful glows, everything. We just using the plugins. So we was using filters, filter forge and retouch. And we was using also additional uh, plugin, the annoying glowing. So how say this is I love this plugin. So it's probably will become one of my um, favorite plugin to use in other works and we'll come back to this. But I highly recommend for you to go check out um, the plugin, go check, see how it's work. I will provide the link for all these plugins and everything in the descriptions in the video. So you can actually go check for yourself, download the trials and play and see how they work for you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like it, give it thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and get it more new tutorials.